What's up guys, Danny with Swamp and Stop. So today, I'm gonna be practicing shooting off my weak side on my hybrid. Thanks for checking out another video. Please make sure you click on this button over here to get in on our, our quarterly raffle. We're gonna be giving away this tree stand. It's a pretty sweet Summit Viper SV. And we're gonna be running that raffle here at the end of the month. Today I'm gonna be shooting off my weak side out of my hybrid. Um, been practicing out of the left side or I guess my strong side but I haven't done a whole lot out of my weak side and um, I got my platform set up here at the base of the tree pretty much uh, not really going for accuracy or anything like that I'm just trying to get the motions correct so I'm gonna try getting around this side of the tree and um, working around this side as well This isn't exactly how I'm going to have my stuff set up for the actual hunt, but um, I ordered a accessory loop or essentially accessory line. Uh, I still haven't gotten that yet, but there's a couple other things I'm going to be adding here and kind of streamlining my setup. For now, I just have this little homemade dinky little bow hanger that I made last year. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So I've noticed if you uh, leave yourself a nice long um, tether, you'll be able to wrap around the tree a lot easier. If you leave it short, then it kind of limits you on these uh, thicker, thicker trees.
So that was my first time shooting out of on my weak side, and man, that was uh, that was pretty cool. It was really a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. At first, I thought it was going to be you know um, tough because of the you know, just wrapping around the tree or you know getting on that opposite side of the tree. But once you um, swing around, your rope kind of tightens up a little bit, your your tether, so that kind of really anchors you in. So I like that a lot. Um, it really went a lot better than I expected. Um, but that's what you have to do. You know, you have to practice at the base of the tree and really get used to it. Um, come hunting season, you want to be pretty uh, proficient at it and you want to be able to do that move quietly and with like pretty much one, one easy movement. Um, once that buck fever kicks in, man, you know, it's like, it's really hard to focus on anything except that buck. And it's, it's, uh, it has to be like a second nature kind of thing. So I'm going to keep practicing it. And um, we got some really good news coming up or some really cool news coming up. Um, so you guys make sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, good luck to everybody that's getting in on this uh, giveaway. We have that coming up at the end of this month. Um, a lot of really cool stuff is happening for us. And uh, it's all because you guys, you know, all the subscribers and likes and all the stuff on our videos. That's uh, really putting Swamp and Stomp at, another, at a whole nother level. Thanks for checking us out and uh, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Swamp style.